So we are inside the Rios Caledonia Adobe, and we're talking with... Barbara Banks. I am a docent for the Caledonia here. So Barbara Banks is going to share with us about Charles Dorries. So what is, how is he significant about this adobe? He bought this in 1923, and his main objective of buying it was he wanted it to become a historical place. And he wanted to make a museum out of it. Uh, he also added the aviary here. He added the gas pump that's out in front. He added the uh, cactus that's around here, and uh, he just loved it. Place. But in 1952, he uh, had an accident, a car accident, but that it left him pretty in pretty bad shape. So he then went to the veterans, and he passed away then. And that, that was in 1952. With that, the family did not want to sell the property to anyone, but they decided to actually sell it, and that was to the county of San Luis Obispo in 1964. And it, with the adobe, it was six acre, acres then, and the purchase price was $2,500. $2,500 in this condition. In 1964. This was a condition. It was so in, it looks pretty dilapidated. It is, and yes. And pretty worn for the wear. Yes. Uh -huh. And from that point on, uh, the Parks and Recreation uh, put on the top of the building again to Caledonia, and they also uh, gave this place for the Friends of Adobe who have come into this building and tried to refurbish it. In 1968, they tried that and are still working on it. We're, all we do is ask for donations so we can keep it up and do the work we're doing with it. So the people, the visitors that stop by here, what do you expect them, or what would you like them to take away from here? I would like, for number one, the history. Uh, and, and the history of? Of San Miguel and what transpired here. Not only that, uh, it's, I just moved here three years ago, and I have found this a, such a warm building. I don't think anything but good could have been here, uh, really, with the families that have lived here in the meantime. Uh, it's been a mattress factory. It's been uh, a, a sewing a place for one woman. It was a school at one time where they were rebuilding the school in San Miguel. And uh, it's, it's just been a wonderful place. And then what sort of artifacts um, do you have in the adobe? We have artifacts from uh, uh, the 1800s that are here, from some of the people that lived here, uh, their books, and uh, that, uh, also we have some Bibles upstairs. Mm -hmm. So this has an upstairs? Yes. Uh, oh, yes. Uh -huh. They have the so here's a hand operating drill. Here's a guest book mm -hmm. from the 1930s. This is the Charles Dory's. This is uh, the flag that was presented to his family oh, when he passed away. That's remarkable. But uh, his his dream, we're trying to make come true. And these are stamps from the Justice Department. You've got a whole yes, uh -huh. collection here of interesting artifacts for people to see when they visit this place. Right. Uh -huh. I just think this is remarkable. You've got it from the cowboy ranching period because this is, after all, a ranch. You've got oh, yes, spurs. Yeah. You've got things to clean the horseshoes. A 1908 There's ledger. Different barbed wire, different shoes. Different types of barbed wire through these... Nicely done showcases, and this is what it looked like in the early 1900s. Here's the 1896. That one, the mm -hmm. tile, the tile on the roof, the original tile, uh, was uh, the Indians had made that, 
So here we have the original structure. Mm -hmm. And the Salinan Indians, if I'm not mistaken, correct? Yes. Made these adobe tiles. And now here we are standing in this room. And you told me earlier that this is original adobe in this yes. room. Yes, it is. So when visitors come to see this awesome building, when they come into this particular room, what do you, does this room have a name? Just the museum. This is the museum. Uh -huh. And in this museum, the walls are the original adobe, adobe from the Salinan Indians. And you said something about the floor. The floor was, uh, of course, dirt at first. And they would uh, put blood, you know, animal blood on it to keep the, the dust down and whatnot. Really? But, I have never known that. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. So they used animal blood to keep the dust down. Uh-huh, yes. And also, How incredible is that? I know. Well, it, I don't know whether all tribes did this or mm -hmm. what, but I have no idea. But uh, anyway, this, like I said, uh, when they gave it to Mr. Dorries in 1923, is when it really began to develop, develop and become a historical place which it is, it definitely is. Who is this we are looking at now? Petronello uh, uh, Rios, uh -huh. that was a sergeant in the Mexican army, mm -hmm. was sent down from Monterey with five other soldiers. He came down here uh, to live, and uh, he got the uh, Salinian Indians from the mission to come over to this property and build this two this, this structure right here. So it's a two-story two story structure. structure. Yes, and um, it was then the administrative, the first administrator to come to uh, this building here from for the mission. He was an administrator for the mission. So tell me more about this place. Uh, well, let's see. That was going on with the secularization when the mission was going to be sold to California after the war. Uh, that was a war between California and Mexico. And uh, with that, uh, California took over all the missions. And they were not even missions at the time. They were just sold to people. Three people bought this property and the mission, and that was Petronilo Rios, um, Manuel Garcia, and William Reed. William Reed uh, lived over at the mission. He and his wife, his wife was the niece of General Vallejo, and uh, he had married her. They had one son that was about nine years old, and she was pregnant with another child. Uh, they had a, um, a black cook over there. They had some servants. I believe her brother was there. There were 11 people that were living in the mission at the time. Mission San Miguel Archangel. Yes, uh -huh. okay. and that's when uh, five men came down and from the gold rush. This is in 1860, um, I'm sorry, 1849. Uh, and uh, they stopped by and saw William Reed, kept them overnight. They drank wine and whatnot, but Mr. Reed told them that he had made some gold dust, you know, from uh, the gold fields. And with that, the gentleman left in the morning. They got close to Santa Barbara, and they came back, and when they came back, they uh, massacred the whole family and, that, and looked for all this gold that Mr. Reed was bragging about. It was a terrible, terrible story, but this is actually what happened. How sad. Isn't that something? Yeah. That is sad. That's a piece of history of Mission San Miguel that we don't hear about. No, we don't. Uh -uh. We hear about the Salinans, their way of life, how the Catholics came in mm -hmm. to re-indoctrinate them, 
-huh. but you don't hear the story about... Um, that was the, the worst story I've ever heard. I've just done, been here three years, mm -hmm. and that is the worst, and I love the history of San Miguel. Me too. It's just a so marvelous little town, yes. And it, it's so homey and welcoming. You can feel the spirit here, yes. Uh -huh. Here we are in Rios, Caledonia, Adobe, adjacent from Mission San Miguel Archangel off the 101 North and the 101 South in California, beautiful Golden State, California. And here we have a lot of artifacts. Um, if you could come this way and just keep walk a little and you could see inside this wonderful room. We're having keyboards here. We've got a bell. You've got um, desks antique desks, uh, original adobe that we had talked about before, yeah, a stove, a black pot with shoes down there, a hat, <laughs> and basically an office and classroom all at once with here with the American flag, George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. Here's some more of what you'll see here at Rios Adobe. A facsimile of a kitchen, an eating area, with a piano, stool, chairs, and of course, roosters. We're going to zoom in so you can get a really good look at what this structure was in a time gone by. Amazing, isn't it? And how I am standing here in a room in 2019 with the same floor. Incredible. The tile on the Caledonia here was sold between 1905 and, be, and, and 1923 to, we thought, the San Luis Obispo Mission, but it ended up at Wrigley's Mansion in Catalina Island on their roof. Wow. So this is Nascimento Lodge 340. Independent Order of Odd Fellows. So look at this awesome uniform and a gentleman wearing the vestments of the order. And we have a great picture here where you can't reach it because you can only see it from going down the stairs. Another pleasant surprise for me. the old adobe historical landmark i've got my sunglasses on right now because i was just on the other side just on the other side to show you that this was the entrance the original entrance of this museum area you can hear the cars highway 101 is right there you've got some beautiful cactus cacti here and behind me is the actual museum look at that Beautiful adobe. And remember what we learned about with the tiles. They were supposed to uh, have gone to Mission San Luis Obispo and ended up on Catalina Island. According to uh, Barbara, you could see the rocks. We were on the other side of this structure earlier, tapping on it. And you can see that phones are really, really optimal. They're really great to have because you keep hearing the pings. That means we're always in contact. Let's look around some more. You'll see this awesome water tank. And then down below here, you'll see some tools that till the soil in this area. Here's an original cart with steel rims, steel wheels, and steel spokes. You could see the tongue in the front. You could see the saddle or the chair, the seat where the operator sat. And in the back here, we have the engine. Here's the exterior of the Rios Caledonia Adobe. You can see that they've done a lot of work to restore this wonderful landmark into a great place to visit. This is a view of the library. As you can see, they have some of the artifacts on shelves inside. Quiet place to learn about the history 
of the Salinan Indians and the pioneers that were here in the 1800s. Can you look at this? Back in the 1850s, girls going to boys' play places is worth three lashes, giving each other ill names. Three lashes for misbehaving to girls, 10 lashes. Playing cards at school, 10 lashes. Swearing, eight lashes for wetting each other, washing at playtime, two lashes. And look near the bottom, for drinking spiritous liquors at school, eight lashes. So you get less lashes for drinking than you do playing cards. Hmm, interesting, isn't it? Here's the spacious courtyard with a beautiful wagon wheel, cactus garden, an awning, a place with an awning, and the entrance again that Barbara said was here originally. Here's a plaque on top of a nice monument stand, solid, probably cement, painted white. Rios Caledonia Adobe. This two-story structure was built with the hands of the, the uh, uh, Salinan Indians under the direction of uh, Petrolino Rios. This was in about 1846, as you can read. It used to be a residence. It was a headquarters for sheep and cattle operations. And it served also as a hotel and a uh, stage uh, stop in the uh, 1860s. So you will see this grand monument here right at the entrance of the museum. You can't miss it. Take a moment to read it. This place is a historical landmark and it should be a place that you'd like to visit. We hope you had a great time here at Rios Caledonia Adobe off 101 South, 101 North, adjacent to the Mission San Miguel Archangel. Come in, talk to the docents. They're well learned about this um, area, this structure, the gardens, the cactus gardens that are here, the remnants of the aviary, and some other great stuff that they have here. Admission is free. There's uh, lots of parking, there's picnic tables, a great place to have lunch. So get yourself out on a journey. We ask for donations. <laughs> Get yourself out on a journey, uh, hit the highway, hit the byways, and get yourself here. They love taking donations. It was just whispered to me. <laughs> donations are always welcome because what they want to do is bring more artifacts in from the original uh, the so inhabitants. They're hoping to get uh, some baskets and other earthenwares of the original inhabitants of this area by the Salinas River. So get yourself out on a journey. We hope you like what you're watching. If you like what you're watching, subscribe and we'll see you then.